Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing A Days channel. Today is JavaScript lesson 5. We will learn about functions. We will how to learn how to declare a function, invoke a function. We will learn about function parameters or we call them arguments. Invoke a function automatically. About function expressions and callback functions. And a special note on JavaScript hoisting. Okay, so let's get started. I have cleared out my main.js and let's start by declaring a function. You declare a function using the function keyword and comes after that comes the name of the function hello and a parenthesis and your curly brackets. So I'm going to return hello. You save and you refresh and you go to your console. And from the console you can access this function. So how to invoke this hello function? Right now it doesn't return anything. You can't see it in the console. But if I do hello and parenthesis, you will get hello, the string returned. So the return value is hello. So that's how you invoke a function. You invoke by name of the function and parenthesis. That's how you invoke function. So if I do uh, yeah, that's how you invoke function. Uh, next, we learn about function parameters and our all arguments. Okay, if we can pass in parameters like name, and you can use this name in the function body. Function body is between these two curly brackets. So I'm going to say space there and name, and check it out. So we call again hello, but now we have to pass in a name the parameter and it says hello doing it easy so that's how you pass in parentheses you can have two or three or any number that you want name surname so we can can get that as well so plus put a space and then again can cat and put surname and we can call just refresh call hello I am Utpala and you have to put a comma to separate to tell that the, I am okay I am passing the next in next parameter so integer and that's how you pass in parameters okay so next we have invoke a function automatically so this function we start by invoking a function automatically by parentheses and then in the name function and like so so we will alert saying invoked so so as soon as this uh, so as soon as this page loads main.js loads when it comes to the line 5 it's going to run this only thing you need to do is put additional two parentheses right there okay that's how you invoke them okay so I'm going to comment that out, otherwise I will get the alert all the time. Next, function expressions. Function expressions are another way of declaring a function. The only difference is you, what you do is you assign the function to a variable. So variable function, uh, let's say variable name is a function. So now let's do calc. Which is, a, which is a function and don't forget the semicolon at the end and what this this does is maybe it expects two parameters a and b and what it returns is the calculation of that so return a plus b okay that's what it returns so this is a function expression notice that I don't have a name here I can have a name uh, okay, let's have a name. Uh, let's say calculator. Let's call this. Uh, so the name of the function. Okay, now to call this, we have to use the name of the variable calc and pass in the two parameters. We have a and b. So I'm going to pass in five and ten, which should give us fifteen. We get fifteen. So that is function expressions you use 
why I say that this is better than using normal function is because of JavaScript hoisting. I will explain that later. But let's cover ornamous functions. Ornamous functions are where you don't declare a name like so. So this is an anonymous function. It works same but you don't have a name. 14. Okay, so anonymous function don't have an identifier. So we call anonymous function when it doesn't have an identifier. Identifier is the name of the function. Okay. Next, JavaScript hoisting. Okay, I said that function expressions are better than using the function declarations because of JavaScript hoisting. What JavaScript does is, if you declare something like this, wa a at the bottom, and you may do a console log at the top. Say so I say console dot log. Common sense says that this should give an error because we have declared the variable a down there and we are calling this console log a here, this variable here. But that's not the case. We will get the undefined value because this a, a has undefined as the value. Let's check that out. We get undefined. That is because in the JavaScript hoist this declaration to the top of the scope. So to drop to the top of this page. That's why we get a. But if we do b we haven't we don't have a variable called b we haven't declared it so we should get an error of reference error, reference error reference error b is not defined that is true if we do um so that is what javascript does it's hoist this variable a to the top because of it's a declaration so it's always better to declare your variables at the top of that function or the page uh, so why better why function expressions are better than function declarations because if you assign let's say a equals to 5 JavaScript doesn't hoist this because this is not a declaration declaration this is an initialization so if we do console log a you might think the value of 5 will be console uh, will be printed out but no that doesn't happen it's still going to be undefined so what JavaScript does is it does not hoist the initialization so it doesn't hoist the initialization it's only hoist the declarations so so what function expressions are these are these are initializations so we inc we equal put the equal sign and assign the function to this cat variable so this does not get hoisted but this does function hello does get hoisted to the top so that's why we can call okay I'm gonna refresh and say that it's going to still be undefined even though we have said a equals to 5 but if we do if we call hello pass in two values a comma b uh, this is going to work because JavaScript hoist this function to the top of the page Okay, let's do console log so that we, can, we will see and put it inside our brackets and refresh. Okay, hello A and B. It works because this gets hoisted to the top. This is very important. Okay, but we can't use the calc because it's an initialization. So if I do uh, calc and pass in 2 comma 3 and change this to console log so that we will see this in the browser console okay this will give an error see uncaught type error calc is not a function that's the error that it gives but we can use calc at the end so if I remove this and put there put it there it works so it's always better to use function expressions Next, callback functions. Callback functions are functions that you call once you, once a particular function is executed. So we, in Node.js, we can connect to the database. So we want to run a query after the database connection has happened. We don't want to run the query when actually the database has not been connected yet. So we use callback functions. All the time in Node.js, we use callback, callback functions. 
in jquery also we do the same we say we do something like this we say dollar the id of the button and we say on click and we pass in a function like so and we do something so this is a call fun callback function we only do something if the click has happened so after the click has happened we do a function though that's main use of a callback function okay i so i think that covers everything for functions for now i hope you guys enjoy this one do subscribe do share do like and let me know in the comments of what you think and thank you thanks again for watching and have a good day take care bye